Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I have yet another viewer request video, this time showing you how you can use Astronomer Cosmos and Astronomer Airflow together, Airflow Threado, so how you can run your DBT projects using Cosmos on Airflow, which has pretty much become the de facto standard for you know running DBT on Airflow is using Cosmos because it gives you that really clean, easy to use visualization layer. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna show you how to set up today. Um, so show you how to go from nothing to having a fully working Cosmos DBT project set up uh, on your local machine. And then this is obviously easily portable to the cloud or any other environment you might wanna run it in. Um, so if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, consider joining my Patreon, it helps me out a ton. But without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is just create a new Airflow environment. Um, so what we'll do is just open up handy dandy terminal down here and close these other ones, close out ports, and then go and just create a new environment. So repos, directory 3.0 cosmos, cd into 3.0 cosmos, and then run astro dev init, and this will just generate an empty file structure for our local Airflow environment. Then what I'll do is pop that repository open. So pop open 3.0 Cosmos. And then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your requirements file um, and add the astronomer Cosmos greater than 1.0.2. Um, I would recommend going to 1.11 though. Um, and what this will allow you to do is use the DBT Fusion support within Cosmos, which I'll show you how to do in, in a few minutes. Uh, but you need to be on Astronomer Cosmos 1.11 to actually use new DBT Fusion with Cosmos. Um, so then, after you're done setting up that requirements file, you'll then also need to go set up your, your <laughs> uh, Docker file as well. So creating a virtual environment and uh, installing DBT in there that, so it can actually be used. And so to do that, what we'll need to do is go here and we're just gonna copy and paste a few different lines here. So user, apt install, curl, and then using curl to install DBT Fusion. Um, and so this will let you install your DBT Fusion environment um, into your Docker file and into your Airflow environment, right? So you just need to do that install operation. And then once you're done with that, you also will need to install your uh, connectors and create your DBT virtual environment. So here what we're doing is creating that DBT virtual environment, sourcing it, activating it, and then installing DBT Postgres, DBT Snowflake, whatever connector you're using for whatever database, you're just gonna swap out DBT Postgres for, or you can chuck in and and here, and you could say, you know, and and DBT Snowflake, uh, and, and deactivate, right? So if you want to have multiple connectors for multiple databases, you could do that as well here. Um, but I'm just using Postgres here, so I'll just leave it as that for now. Um, and then what we're gonna do is save this, and then we're also going to go add some connectors. Um, so something you can do within Cosmos is have connectors that basically take your DBT or your Airflow connection variables and turn them into DBT connectors. So here what we'll do is create a profiles.py Python file. And then we're just going to import and install or basically create a simple script for just creating one of those profiles. We don't have to reference all this code in every single one of our DAGs. Um, so here we're just creating a profile config with the Airflow metadata base, just basically, you know, and this is would correspond to a connection within the Airflow UI. It's just Postgres admin admin credentials. Um, but this is where you would set, you know, hey, if I want to use Snowflake, you'd use a Snowflake post password profile mapping here instead. Um, but again, just using Postgres, so I'm just gonna use Postgres for now. Um, and then the next step you're gonna wanna take is actually installing your DBT project. Um, so here, what you wanna do is basically take your DBT project, wherever it is, and you can download this one um, over at the fine, fine, uh, the, the you know a repository that DBT supports for Jaffle Shop, um, and so here I have a very normal standard DBT project. So you know, hey, just Jaffle Shop here, um, scheme, regular schema profiles, README, nothing really out of the ordinary here. Um, and this will then you know because it's my DAGs folder, will make it available for Cosmos to then reference and visualize as a DAG. Um, so then what we'll do is go create that DAG. 
So here we can do, there's a couple different ways we can create a Cosmos stag within uh, Airflow 3. So here, basic cosmos.py. And here what you'll have is just a very basic Cosmos stag where we're first gonna import just date time, the dbt dag. So this is what's allowing you to take that project and render it as a dag, just the dbt dag object. Also this project config, so we can point it towards where our project is. Um, we're also going to include our Airflow profile, and that's that database I just said. So include profiles, you can see I'm importing Airflow DB. And then also import constants. This is something I actually forgot to set. Um, but also you want to set your constants for your environment environment uh, that you're going to be running DBT in. Or, and then also for your execution path, who knows where to go um, and actually get your project from. So here we're just importing pathlib, execution config, and then pointing it towards our Jaffle shot path and our dbt executable path. Um, here, we'll just look at this dbt here. And then we have our vnv executable execution config is just pointing to this execution environment we've created within our Docker file. So then we can go back to our simple DAG here, and then just create a dbt DAG that references all three of those things. So here we have the simple DAG equals dbt DAG pointing towards that local that Jaffle shot path using that Airflow DB connection uh, connector as our profile configs, our connection into our database, and then also our VNV execute config as our actual execution environment where we're going to be running DBT here and actually running these operations. And then the rest of these uh, values are just very standard Airflow DAG objects. Um, so, you know, just basically anything you would set on a DAG, you know, any parameters there, you can still set with a DBT DAG as well. Now, if I wanted to instead use the dbt fusion binary, what I can do instead is I go and set execution config to dbt execution path. So here we will go execution config, and then within here set dbt executable path um, equals home astro local bin dbt. Um, and this will allow me to run my, and also adding in execution config in here, so importing that as well. And this will instead point it towards that Fusion environment. So if you have upgraded to Fusion or transferred to Fusion, this is how you would do that. The previous option was for if you're just you know running plain old dbt core, um, the old school way of running dbt. Um, so having a dbt DAG is great, but what if I want to have other tasks in that DAG? That is where the dbt task group comes in. So let's go basic task group.py. And within here, what I'll do is do a lot of the same imports, um, but just also importing an empty operator. So here we have our date time, decorators, op empty operator, dbt task group and project config. And then we have our profiles and our constants as well that we're importing. And here the difference is, well, instead of defining a dbt DAG, we define a normal DAG. Uh, and then we'll you know, add whatever other tasks we want as normal operators. And then wherever we want to integrate our dbt project, we then integrate it as a dbt task group. Um, so this is where you can go in and say, hey, I, I want to have this dbt take or project take effect as part of a larger uh, overall task group uh, or as part of a larger DAG. So you know, typical, you're going to have other operations that are upstream or downstream of dbt. And this allows you to have them all in the same DAG. Um, and then if you want to filter down your uh, render configuration, you can actually say, hey, I actually only want to um, render a certain slice of my dbt project. The render config is where you can point it towards different folders, different paths, and say, hey, actually only render that which is contained within this particular pathway. Um, so you're not always restrained to rendering an entire dbt project. You can slice and dice and say, hey, I only want to render this section in this DAG. So it makes it really modular and really easy to extend out to a lot of different use cases. So now, what does this look like within the UI? Um, so here we have a few different uh, examples here. So simple, that simple DAG I showed you before. Here you can see all the steps of the dbt uh, Jaffle shop project rendered as individual tasks within an Airflow DAG. So for each model, you have both the run and test stage, and you have all the dependencies between those models visualized as well. Um, and any changes I might have made to these, any alterations will immediately, you know, to the projects themselves, will immediately take effect within the UI. And here you can see, you know, my filtered version where I only show the models and not the seed steps. Um, here's another one where it's only the seeds instead of the models. Um, so it really is a very flexible tool for taking your DBT projects, 
and running them on a schedule without needing to pay for DBT Cloud. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Data Guy out.